U.S. Olympian Sammy Sullivan says Army service helped her win bronze medal for rugby. Please subscribe to RZ News for more updates. The U.S. Women's Rugby Team made the America proud by bringing home the bronze at the 2024 Paris Olympics. The Rugby Sevens bronze medal match against the Australia on July 30 stunned viewers, with the team scoring a game-winning conversion as the clock ran out. Standout Sammy Sullivan, 26, brought an extra air of the patriotism to the rugby field. In addition to being an Olympic medalist, Sullivan also serves as a captain in the United States Army, leading fans on the social media to call her Captain America. In an on-camera interview with RZ News, Captain Sullivan expressed her excitement about clinching a medal at this year's Games after starting her rugby career at West Point in 2016. The Army, to me, is the ultimate team. I spent my full four years there playing rugby, she said. It's where I first discovered the rugby, because I played soccer my whole life. Sullivan, who is currently based in Chula Vista, California, revealed that she always had a call to serve, as her dad was a Special Forces Green Beret. Seeing the level of bonds and connections that he had with people at work just really appealed to me, as someone who always thrived in a team sport environment, she said. The Army, to me, is the ultimate team, so I knew I always wanted to go into that, which is why I chose the Military Academy. From West Point, Sullivan was commissioned as an engineer officer and was eventually stationed at Fort Carson in the Colorado as a route clearance platoon leader, which she described as the most fun time of my life. While serving, she continued driving to Denver three times a week to keep up with rugby. In the background, I had this other dream of going to the Olympics as a rugby sevens player, she said. When USA Women's Sevens head coach Emily Bidewell called Sullivan to discuss playing for the team, she applied to the World Class Athlete Program, which allows Army soldiers to compete and serve their nation as Olympians. Getting accepted into the World Class Athlete Program was a massive honor for me, she said. The program has allowed Sullivan to compete and train full-time with the USA rugby team for the last two years ultimately leading her to the Olympics. The now Olympic bronze medalist said that making the podium with her team doesn't feel real and that she is still riding the high. And I'm really missing my teammates, she added. I feel like I have separation anxiety from them, because we've worked so hard and spent every day with each other for years. Sullivan's other teammates, her fellow Army brothers and sisters, have shared their support. They're just so beyond proud of me," she said. From field to field. Sullivan spoke about how being active in the Army translates to her performance on the rugby field. Rugby is a combat sport, there's a lot of adversity that happens on the field, but it's that type of adversity that brings teammates and sisters that's what I call them closer together," she said. And that's exactly what happens in the Army, too. You go through these adverse situations together, whether it's field training in sub-zero weather, or ultimately deploying and serving our nation it's something that not a lot of people on this earth can say they do," she continued. I'm really proud to be a part of that community that serves our nation. Through rugby, Sullivan said she has learned a lot about leadership and how to be resilient in tough situations. Rugby has taught me a lot about myself how I handle stress, and has made me a better officer," she said. Sullivan said her favorite part of playing rugby at the international level is saluting the American flag before a finals game while the national anthem plays. Getting to show my patriotism in that way and how proud I am to not only represent my country as an athlete, but also as a United States Army soldier brings tears to my eyes every time," she said. This year's Games have brought in the largest number of female athletes in history, with an equal 50-50 split between men and women, according to the Olympics. U.S. Women's Rugby has also made history, as Emily Bidewell became the first female rugby head coach to win an Olympic medal.
I feel like people are finally starting to see just how exciting women's sports can be and how much emotion is put into it, how much grit, how much aggression and power, Sullivan said. It's okay to be strong and powerful and feminine and beautiful and all those things can happen at once. For young girls today, Sullivan said she hopes the U.S. women's rugby team can illustrate how playing like a girl is how you want to play. Finding an outlet Even Olympians need to blow off some steam, especially when thrown into high-pressure competition. You can start going down a really dark path when your whole identity and your whole success is wrapped up in your sport, and I think even Olympians feel that, Sullivan said. Outside of rugby, she has shared her love of building with Legos as her own outlet, to help her disconnect from the sport. Legos for me is something that helped me to not put my full identity into rugby, Sullivan told RZ News. I would encourage every young, old and new athlete out there to find something that sparks your joy outside your sport. As the Paris Olympics comes to a close, Sullivan said she has the 2028 Los Angeles Games in view. In the meantime, the Army captain hopes to give back to the military community and share her story with other service members and recruits who are looking to pursue both dreams. The Army does such a good job of supporting us in all of our endeavors, she said. Any job you can think of, there's a way the Army can tie into that. I'm really proud to be a part of that community that serves our nation. Sullivan added that she hopes people come out in droves to watch the rugby team's games throughout the season, since they will need all of America's support to go for gold in 2028. This sport means so much to me and this team means so much to me, she said.